Screen mirroring your iPhone onto your Mac. Yes, you can do it, and I'm gonna show you how and why you might want to in the first place. This is how to do it all. Before we start, let's go over the hardware and the software that you'll need. For your Mac, make sure it's running on Mac OS Sequoia. You can see which devices support this Mac OS here on the screen. Now, as for your iPhone, you'll need to have iOS 18 or iOS 26. Here is the following list of iPhone models that can do this. Now that you have both of your devices, be sure that you're logged into your Apple account for both devices. And make sure your Bluetooth is on. Now that you're signed in on both devices, let's open up the iPhone mirroring app on your Mac. If you are having trouble finding the app, search within the Finder. Launching the app will trigger the connection. For the first time you connect, you will need to enter your device passcode and approve the connection on the iPhone. You can bypass the security prompt by going to iPhone mirroring, settings, and choosing automatically authenticate. Now that you are mirroring, you can virtually do anything that you could have done on your phone onto your Mac. But why would you want to do this in the first place? Screen mirroring allows you to transfer files, videos, and photos using supported apps seamlessly from your phone to your Mac and vice versa. As an example, I can take this photo I recently edited of my dog, Hershey, and can drag it from my computer onto the Apple Photos app in the simulated screen and it will add the photo to the phone. This cuts out using AirDrop entirely. Another example, you can transfer from your phone to your Mac. Open the Files app on your iPhone screen and pull a file onto your desktop to transfer it over. There are other purposes for using mirroring than just transferring files. Let's say you want to use an app versus a website. I'm gonna throw a little bit of shade at one of my favorite apps, All Trails. All Trails is this hiking app that I use for when I'm taking the dog out, doing photography, just being in nature. But I can't stand using the website version. It just seems a little bit off in comparison to using the app. I can pull up all trails on my phone screen through iPhone mirroring and search for my next trail. The leaves are looking pretty beautiful out here in the Reno Tahoe area. And boom, I found my weekend hike on my desktop without ever having to use my phone. Using an app or transferring files are just two ways I use iPhone mirroring. If you want to learn how our other writers or editors use iPhone mirroring, go ahead and check out our article that's linked down below in the description. Now, what if you have a Windows PC or you have an outdated Mac or an outdated iPhone? There are other ways of being able to utilize this mirroring feature. You're just gonna have to jump through a little bit more hoops, but it doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy new Apple products. One of our articles below will be able to explain that for you. And there you have it, iPhone mirroring is that simple. Now these are just the basics of iPhone mirroring. So again, check out those articles in the description of this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. If you want more tech tutorials like this one, consider subscribing to our channel as well as commenting down below what tech tutorial you would like to see in the next How To Do It All series. I'm Dylan Payne and I'll see you in the next video.